Hi to all beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. So as promised earlier in my previous video, remember to check it out. I will be featuring a top tier Dino Beater deck, which uh, people is achieving king of games with Dino decks now. So for most free to play player, you can take reference at this deck because it's pretty much free and easy to build. So I hope you give drop a like in for this video and remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. Later on, I will be coming up a special deck. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for it. So without further ado, let's go through the deck list. So I have three black Bakyos, which I took it from the PvP reward. I would say that two may be good enough, but why not just three? So I have two Sergeant Electro to lock down the back row. So which coming crucial against different kind of players. I have one Dark Dicep Raptops. Well, it's a level 6 monster. It has piercing damage to defense position, which links up with Black Brachios and with the Fear spell. All Dino is pretty much a bitter, so that's pretty much a lot of face down card and defense card. But the main purpose of me having a level 6 is also to counter Lava Deck. As Lava is getting more popular in the ladder, so I mean, with Dino is all level 4, you pretty much swamp the, the monster field. So, you know, it's pretty easy for them to do a Lava play on you. So, this is one of the purposes here. I have 3 Hydro Gendo, which it has a special effect that when I destroy a monster, my opponent control by battle and send to the graveyard, I can special summon another one. So it's a pretty much potential OTK and allows you to special summon another of his body to the field for more damage. I have one element Saurus because there is a lot of, I mean, Tilt deck as well, that monster with effect. Uh, with effect. So basically when this card attack and destroy the monster, I will neglect the effect of a monster which have an effect damage. <coughs> so and it pretty much synchronized with Sergeant Electro because it will gain a 500 attack. So more beating to it. I have one for Sedic. So this is the UR card and it allows me to Add one level six or lower dino type monster from my deck to my hand. You usually I will only use this when uh, it's crush time, but I make, need to make a decision to you know drop either that 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 Raptors, Sergeant Electro, or you know. So I won't be using it commonly if I have a lot of dino in my hand because I don't want to waste this. Sometimes you know at this crush moment you will just need some some monster on the field. This is a card to look for. Two anti magic arrows because this deck is so powerful for attacking. So you need at least two AMA for the uh, OTK effect. One super rush headlong, which is pretty good as a tag card for this deck. Two enemy controller is pretty much to counter cyber angel and other type of monster as well to front gate more facing down more turning down so it's also to prevent bit bitter monster as you can see in the highlight later to mirror wall if you don't have mirror wall wall of disruption is another alternative or you can you know basically i only have like this few cards for defensive purpose because i'm focusing on attack that's why i have two ama and one windstorm for also the defense effect and the reason why i'm um, having 21 cards is basically i don't want to get me out before my opponent so it also bring a psychological effect into the game so without further ado let's go on to the highlights so this is a match between me and the cyber angel player and pretty much it's easy because his hand is kind of break and Dino deck is kind of consistent I would say, you know, with that kind of back row, front row, you will usually pick up the cards that you need. So he has a balance. 
which I believe he he can use the uh his another skill spell which is better. One hydrogen, he's summon a sonic bird. I have one super rush headlong. So without further ado, he quickly introduced me bikini. Uh I have matched with a few players already. And when they summon Dikini, they did not activate their effect for a few times. So please take note if you have an enemy controller, don't tribute take because the monster will just go back to the opponent hand in the next turn. You can't destroy it. So remember to stay focused. And for this case, he thought it's an enemy controller, so he did not uh, use his effect. So I just use Super Rush Headlong, easy destroy, and now he left with one friend here. So I just use Bad Brachios, but I do not want to turn it to face down because I want to give it some damage. So I use Anti Magic Arrow for the tier, use Hydro to attack once, to special summon another of his body, and go for the OTK. <coughs> Finish Cyber Angel in turn 4. So this deck has a lot of firing power and this game is against uh, Ninja and I came across a few Ninja deck and they, they pretty much surrender because of the tilt. So this deck is very useful against Hazy. I fight a lot Hazy as well and they totally give up and Ninja deck I mean 60-70% of the time I win against Ninja deck. Cyber Ninja is pretty 50-50 because you need that econ in hand so i start out pretty poor flood gate mirror wall fossil dig and he has a face down so it's psychological game so if i attack him i need to because i have two trap so i sudden electro pin on his face down which he don't activate it no surprise i use fossil dig at at the center one because this is a this is Gonna be Crimson Gut to destroy my trap card, but it's a Fox City. So I, I throw it there. It's just a bit of psychological warfare. That your man is as good at. So he ninja, red ninja effect, but I fragate it, I chain it, and I manage to chain my mirror wall. Which is one learning lesson there for you guys. So he can't he can't put this back to my deck. And I use another 2000 life because why not? He used the shadow ceiling, hopefully, let you know. He can draw in good cards, so that's why this card comes in the crush moment. I have no monster that I can summon, and it's OTK for me here. So I force a dig, get one level, four monster, of course, it's the man of the match, Bat Brachios. And AMA for the finish because I'm not sure whether this is enemy controller or what. I mean, why not? Just use your skill, use your spell, use your trap, and have fun. So, this two is again Hazel Frame. As I say, Hazy Frame is pretty weak against Dino Deck because Hazy Frame is just 2000 attack, whereas Dino is easily 2100. So that is a niche advantage for Dinosaur's deck against Hazy Frame, especially with the skill of Aroma strategy. So that's why watch my previous video for the Hazy Frame. I even know why I use Big Down and how I do it. I will definitely improve my Hazy Frame and show you guys more. So he just frag get me, no biggie. I frag get again, you know, he's going back and forth. He attacked me. It's okay, I got Super Rush, I got Windstorm, I attack him and his face. Let's try to summon. I don't dare to attack him because the life will be the same. So I summon my Hydro Monster to attack. Well, he disposed one and I died. No doubt about it. It's one mistake that you know you guys learn. So he's able to mill up more cards, trying to stall and trying to find a way to go against this guy. He's trying to put more fire formation cards to, you know, commit suicide with my back brachios. So I just attack the hazy frame, why not? So he so exchanged me and summon another hazy frame cyberus. I frag get him again. 
and use his hazy glory effect. He's just trying his best. I, I feel pity for him because I don't feel any pressure to be honest. I turn this card to face down, easy for me to go past him because he's always important. And now he has no front row. Totally, I, I would say it's a game over for him. I still have a super rush hit long but that I can't use against hazy frame. So his special summon frame tiger get more freezing frame hazy frame out but it doesn't really matter because he can't do anything at all his attack is maximum 2000 that's the cap so he hazy gory the reason why I did not use AMA is that because I noticed that he used hazy gory he picked up hazy gory in the previous turn so that's one thing you need to know always focus always concentrate on the play and now it's pretty much GG for him because He's mailing to his death. I respect his courage to keep on fighting because this is to no no man's that he's finally destroyed my monster. He feels so happy, but I just use my level six bitter for the OTK. Easy peasy like a cheesy juicy. I hope you guys like this deck and enjoy the crown. I pretty much think that this deck can bring you to king of games, but. Just that as of now, I'm enjoying life at Legend. So don't ask me why I'm not king of game or why I do not fight for it. Or I just don't bother about it. I'm just focusing, making fun decks for you guys and different kind of decks for you guys to play the Legend League. So you guys can enjoy different type group. So this is against a happy hunting ground lady. So let's see how we fare against Happies. So I force a dig now because I'm preparing to bring up my big boys here. But just wait a turn. I attack. He has nothing. And now he uses Happies Hunting Ground after he found out his monster. Destroy my fear spell. That's for sure. I frag at him because I just don't want him to deal any shit to my monster. And next, I use my big boss, set up everything, AMA for the OTK. That's the issue, one issue with Harpies is that you you often break with your hand because the field spell goes to your starting hand. That's what I feel, that is why it is not meta. So unless Konami buff up Harpies again, I don't think it's gonna be tier 1 that soon. But I really hope Harpies will come back alive, as I really love Harpies, so... Let's pray for it. So last game against a ninja deck again. And the win rate is like really 60-70% here. So yep, that's pretty much a lot of positive wipe of Dino deck. So I hope you guys, you know, just just play a bit. It's kind of free to play for Dinosaur's deck. So 3 star demotion. Use a red dragon ninja with 3 back row. I start in electro. He uses his duplication, but because he's a chain, he, he misses his timing, he can't pin this cut down, and my bad Brachios turn into face down, and he just transform it to one more, right, Dragon Ninja, but this time around, he can, you know, put it to bottom like that, you know, biggie. So now I only left one v one I turn it down to face down again, that's why Black Brachios can't be crushed. And it's GG. I hope you guys enjoy this video and good luck coming King of Games. And stay tuned for another video that I'm gonna post soon. I hope you enjoy. Do drop a like, leave your comments down below on what kind of decks you like me to showcase to you. And remember to subscribe, follow my Facebook account because I always uh, do uploads and updates uh, instantly there. That's the first channel that I promote. So I hope you guys have fun. Have a good day, good afternoon, good night, signing off and peace.